Nein, für es ist was not normal. Et was nicht unter der Bleachers, da in der Back auf my car, da in der Hals at school. Et was in Ades at het Haus, wird my parents still at Werk and wird dir es wetten his iridisch kennt fies. His eyes hat der and purple and he told me he was going to kill himself. So he kissed him. What else could he have done? We didn't tell anyone about us. Gossip would spread little oil over water if a human and an agazieven held hands. So we stole kisses in empty bathroom stalls, my fingertips running over new scabs on his wrists. We hung out after school, and shut the door. He would say things that made no sense, that made me want to know more. Reality hangs between infinity and nothing. The strings that hold us together from a weave that keeps reality suspended. He took it on the strings of my soul, took it me toward him. He stumbled into his arms. How do you define humanity when an alien race has their own life and morals, their own agatity, if it will? When red means calm and blue means excited? How do you define attraction when biology dictates one thing and you do another? My mom would ask why I never had a girlfriend, like all my other friends. It recall his quickened breathing and my gaze tracing his vertebrae and my face would flush scarlet. He didn't feel calm at all. It wasn't long before he told me about the angels and the demons connected to him. His body was a puppet and an of them could be masters. Would he always so one face? He always heard one voice. He saw you in the ether. He said, his eyes sky blue. He saw your divinity. It scared me. He told me we how oh he was. He believed him. In our senior year, his personality splintered. Oh has no heredity, he informed me, dark green eyes flashing. But he like you too, so it's okay. Of course it was. Not soon thereafter, he dragged me to my car, his intense demeanor more startling. You treat him quite well, he said. I want to reward you for that. It's only so long you can hide something like this from your parents. His demons rear it their heads when my dad said a curve. He taught me how to pop window screens, his speech slipping to ah his zing zing so his yellow eyes started left and right, picking up the light from the moon. His shin shimmered, and all scars stood out his style lines through the candles. Like patches of black between stars. Down his forearms. Along his shoulder blades. On the inside of his thighs. He showed his demons that he didn't care we how or he was. So he showed me his wings. Violence is a socially defined construct, he explained. You have and think anything involving dismemberment is violent. Anything involving blood is violent. Agathe don't think that way. Betrayal is violent. Lying is violent. They dismember the soul. The body. WHO cares? If he ripped out your eyes and did it with love, you would be grateful and thank me. Sometimes it felt as though he had. And he was. In college, he saw the green of fury, the pink of frustration, the orange of despair. In public he stuck with other agati. Not even glancing at me as he walked by. Later in his room he would rumble about the angels and the demons and beg me to help him save his soul. It shoved him down until his crying changed pitch and his eyes went grey. He was quite the savior that year. If there was anything that the human race could learn, it was that man kind was an idea. The connectivity of consciousness over all the labels. What you were didn't matter. WHO you were didn't matter. He could even argue that you didn't matter either. One night he called an ambulance because he had swallowed a bottle of pills and he had second thoughts. On my way to the hospital, he told myself over and over again that he would yell his eyes brown. But when he saw him, he resisted the urge to pin him in an embrace. It was not that he realized what he had done to me. The more he learned about interspecies relations, the more he was surprised that interspecies schools were allowed at all. They were coexistence experiments at best. And told prejudice at worst. 
He joined the protests our second year of college, fighting a fight he didn't even care about. It makes me feel like something matters, he said, we're going to ice staring past me. Hearing the yelling and feeling the energy. You used like a danger, he told him. WHO wouldn't? He cracked a smile, a smile that brought me back to when he let me peel his clothes off for the first time. Alien shin, shallow skills, warm under my palms. One morning I caught him knelling in the middle of a clothing strand room, flicking a knife open and closed. Open and closed. He twisted the tip in his spine, blue blood tracing the contours of his shin. He had this body. This flesh. It's not what he wanted. He wrapped my fingers around his wrist and pulled him toward me. He hissed and after a moment of struggle he had him pinned to the floor, his arms over his head. The life useless lies creeping the carpet. I love you, he whispered. No you don't, no you don't. Because if it were a lie, he could use to feel our violence. He kissed his tears, sour, not salty. He grew still and starred beyond me, an empty vessel. He inhaled and blinked now amber eyes. He, what's up? He didn't know emotions could give you the pleasure. It's one of the things they don't teach you in school, that even with all that is agati peculiarity, a neural network is still just dead. And it can break down the same way. He crumpled in my grasp, his dust swelling from my moist breath. Do you ever think about shoving your arm down a garbage disposal and flipping the switch? It's a perfectly normal thought. The key is to not act. He shuddered and made his black eyes. He smiled. Maybe I can grind up your arm instead. My good Leuchet. I don't think it like that. But it doesn't matter. None of it matters. He realized with the flick of his eyes from black lavender that we were suddenly talking about something else. It matters to me. If the man can transcend, where does that leave the body? Lost and forgotten. Does it that? His shin had lost its glam. You're more interesting after, he told me, gesturing at noting. You can become a gatti at will. I'm not sure what unsettled me more. The strangeness of imagining myself Agati, or the yellows of my spiritual self. I didn't even ask myself why I believed him. We graduated into the chaos of adult unknown. Too many employers didn't want to hire Agati, so many lived in communes. My landlord couldn't know that he stayed with me or we both would have been kicked out. He left at odd hours and he didn't ask where he went. He wouldn't have told me anyway. It took too long for him to admit what was wrong. It's getting harder to pull myself up the strings. In becoming too human. Apparently this was an epidemic. A cultural collapse as it will. Human kind had not planned for him to assimilate, at least, he hadn't. Still, he pushed his knees to his kist and watched him beat his lip. If our actions made him more human, what was the harm? If the made me more agati. How could he stop? One evening his eyes were wide, gazing up at the ceiling. His lips blew. His shin cold. He sat cross-legged next to him, counting to rows of scales on his stomach, up his kist, around the hill sticking out above his to human heart. He couldn't tell you who he was, or what he had done. It didn't matter. But he could tell you how he made me feel. He still talked on the strings that trapped around my soul. He always will. <laughs>